know, when you do the training, the martial art training, you also need to use weapons, for example, heavy weapons, or you, you, you use the big stone lock, no? or you use mm -hmm. different kind of weapons, for example, also the, uh, the iron rings. I, I, only, I don't meet only the small iron rings on your arm, you know. There are also big iron rings. No? Oh, and, I don't uh, know yeah, I, I, I will show you something. Give me one sec. <laughs> Yeah. My my younger cousin. Nobody know where he is now because of the Syrian war and everything. He disappeared. But when when I was there with him many years ago. He helped me, he was a smith, okay? And he helped me to do this. This is his handicraft. This is wow. one small ring. Yeah, that is a performance one, you know. So those must okay. be like very old. No, I, no, they're maybe, no, maybe 20 more years old. This is, yeah. this is one, that is another. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is already, that is a big one. Bigger. <laughs> yeah. And I have another bigger one, yeah, uh, downstairs. Okay, in my training facility. And when you do these kind of Kung Fu moves, when you move very round, okay, and uh, you, need, you, you need first to concentrate your breathing, okay, and you lift heavy tools. So that's why uh, you become a very stable shoulder, upper corset, and very solid, solid lower trunk. And uh, I know because it's very interesting, of course, because this kind of monkey style and Shaolin Kung Fu, what I practice, is maybe a little bit different than uh, people think. Okay. Um, these are only some small tools. You can see these tools also if people are practicing Wing Chun. Uh, but the training method for the Wing Chun people and the training method yeah, for the traditional uh, martial art is totally different. Okay. That is, yeah, I, I need to, it's not, it's not, um, it's not only that you harden your arms and f become a little bit, uh, mm. uh, I will, I will say, you know, you learn a lot of kind of abilities like, like sticking, you know, and, and breathing and concentrate your power on different points, you know, concentration is, uh, is prime in that kind of exercise. And uh, it's different. The monkey kung fu style, what I practice, still have some other kind of method. They are very, very old and very, very traditional that I, through my uh, investigation and traveling throughout Asia, never saw before. Okay. You so this is I only... Taiwan or... Yeah. Yeah. Very okay. interesting. So I'd our like to our, use our ring some point. Yeah. Oh, you can you can even swing him like that. Huh? I, I, yeah, kind of like show that now. The mace is. Yeah. Um, okay. I have another one. I have the I have the big big chain. Yeah. That I also one day. You remember that chain? I have this kind of. It's a very beautiful chain. Very heavy. Okay. Uh, it's only one piece, you know, from a chain, but it's so huge. Uh, uh, I think it's from the big uh, cruiser, the ships, you know, uh -huh. they have some, they have also very heavy material, you know, to, <laughs> to hang on, you know, the anchors or something. And I have something like that. I only can, can, uh, can say these kind of tools, you know, they will give you a tremendous amount of force and power. And this you, you project into your, we call that in Chinese Kung Fu, Jing Fa. The Jing Fa, what we produce in the Ho Chun Men Kung Fu system, or I will say in the Trinity system, is quite immense. The, the, other, the others is, uh, we already reveal a little bit. In, and in the uh, coming next tutorial, what we prepared already, Think for your. If you didn't ask me so much, and you know, then I will never 
let this out. <laughs> this, stand, yeah. this the Trinity standing method. No? The Hun Yuan Yi Qi. Exactly. I, I feel like this was something that you truly like had to dig out because it has so much stuff that I've just have not seen anywhere. Like, and I, I have like explored a lot of the methods, like even the standing mm -hmm. methods, the Chang Chuan and that stuff. And I think like what people get from it that, or what you can find from the internet, even from YouTube, some of the standing stuff, it's just like, it's such a surface level uh, that you can find it from there. So no, we will not say, no, this is, I'm, I, I will need to call, please. This is their method. And every school, every school have their method. Mm. We will introduce my method of <laughs> standing. Right. Okay. Standing meditation and also uh, a different kind of, uh, and way to approach the standing and what actually is hidden in these kind of methods because the person before who invent or say, I would say not invent, who, uh, who make a big propaganda walk through Asia in the 19, uh, I would say 20th century, no? Mr. Wang Xiangzai, uh, he was emphasizing the combat aspect in the standing. And what we now, what we actually now want to see and what we want to figure out, what, what did he discover in the standing? Because he also learned different kind of martial art in his life. Okay. And two masters are from the Shin Iba, Shaolin Shin Iba schools. Okay, where he lived with these masters for three to four years only to study. And then he traveled further. Okay. And this is already recorded in a very beautiful book. I think I have that book even here. I can show that and people can see by themselves where he learned and also how was his memory. One second. Mm -hmm. In that book, in these memoirs from written by his daughter, yeah, there you can see when I open that page already, that is not only a beautiful one, that is Mr. Wang Xiangzai, a very grand master who proclaimed the Yi Chuan boxing. Okay, very beautiful pictures, yeah, of all black and white, some poems. Then his daughter, he only had a daughter, yeah? okay, and, and her method okay from the standing yeah and Looks even familiar <laughs> yeah uh, even there are some different uh, i will say approaches and here here i wrote already down or even give some marks in in the early pages you know in the early pages where he in 1923 you know 1923 mm -hmm. yeah i don't know if you can read it because it's uh, i could actually opposite. read it. I, read? I could actually read yeah? it from uh, here, so okay and here and if you know chinese characters it doesn't matter in which direction then here you can see that here is the shaolin shiniba you see that Okay, well, Shaolin characters tell, but <laughs> yeah, but, but I can tell you yeah. here and and also that he studied that. So mm -hmm. the the interesting is all high level martial art, yeah, were actually collected also in the Shaolin Temple, and the people who learned precious things, mm -hmm. they kept it for centuries, and. Uh, the Xin Yi is the essence, the heart, the, the heart and the mind is the essence, not only in the Shaolin Kung Fu system, is the essence of our human life. Okay, this I, I need to tell you, that is very important that you need to know that because we come only to one essence and only one truth. 
and the Shaolin Kung Fu also with the principles uh, emphasizing Xin and Yi. Today, they're emphasizing Chan and Wu. Okay, so we're, yeah, this is also important, but in Chan Wu, inside must have Xin and Yi because hmm. these are the essence of life. These don't, don't belong to one spe uh, specific sect or even one uh, temple organization or whatever. These belongs to us. Okay. And that's the and feeling that, that is, I get, you know, about the, the, your teachings of the Qigong, is that the principles and also the circulation of energy and everything, it is like, really like all encompassing, like it, it goes into every single Qigong practice out there, that you can use it like, or, or it concerns those, and even also, of course, Kung Fu as well, like something kind of like unifies all of those different that can be kind of different, even Tai Chi or, or the Qigong, but it really brings all of those together with the, with the principles. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. In this next tutorial, what we are publishing, no? there would be a little bit standing what people already know. Okay. Uh, but in a different way, we, we try to develop the internal energies of the practitioner. And how to develop that? It's not only by breathing in and breathing out and do some exercises. No, we need to make first the vessel, the correct vessel, the body frame for, uh, uh, in preparation for the Qigong. We know that we have, and uh, some more or some less, Qi stagnations in the body. Okay, where the chi, the energy doesn't flow in a totally correct way. Maybe you have an injury on your arm. You get, maybe you, uh, you get, you get, uh, um, you, after your surgery, you, you think your power is not enough, you know, or even you lose an arm completely or leg, or whatever. And the chi will flow in a different way. Okay. Or even with stuck, you, you hurt yourself, you hurt yourself on your back, you know, and then the chi will stuck and will cannot find the correct route mm. in the body, okay? And uh, we need to open different kind of gates, okay? Because we need to, uh, we are not 24 hours surrounded by a master or we live in a sect or in, in this kind of temple organization where it was Essential and the first practice to open the students' energy channels. The first thing what a master did to his students is first open the channels and then first the treatment. Yeah. Okay. And after the treatment, then the teachings. Okay. And that is actually very, very essential and important. And every Qigong practice practitioner internally they know this okay they, ah, there's some stagnation it's not fluently good it could be better because it's also a feeling kind you understand already that there's something lacking uh, or powers or energy resources on different kinds of extremities or body parts i would say and you actually need the correct method how to open the energy channels if you if you have uh, a master next to you he he press some buttons you know like a pressure points mm -hmm. yeah uh, he do massage with you also to open the chi channels huh? and uh but what if if you are alone okay then you need to stimulate the first doors to open and be in guarantee that they are, I will say, um, yeah, that they are switched on. Okay. The gates need to be open. Yeah. Like yeah. And in that tutorial, you and me, we are opening the gates. Yeah. And you can do that by yourself. Okay. Of course, you can press here some acupuncture points, but what if, if you have a bag or you're here, like, or there, yeah, you can't see very clearly. 
Mm. This is our 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 responsibility to show, yeah, to show and also give things and also proof that these channels are there and these can be opened and stimulated by yourself. Yeah, and okay. I feel like many people this will be very new because I think there are so many Qigong practitioners uh, that just you know they never even heard that there should be like first open up these these points and these gates because I had like no idea about that and it's just like so essential in the in the beginning before you start the Qigong to really have that flow and I feel like this this is what we really cover and not just actually actually the action not just the practice of opening but the, the theory like the whole road and these points and the Chinese names and everything I think it makes it very very complete uh, kind of yeah. like informative yeah um, people need to understand yeah also uh, it's not like in the books are written you know you must do this and then you think about this meridian and that acupuncture point uh Everybody say that in the books, but the key point is when you need to open that. When is the right time to do that? And the right time, okay, this we will also give out. Because With all the, the right books, they say the same. The... Yeah, when you do that, it's not like you, ah, I'm breathing in, ah, now I need to feel here. No, this have a procedure in life also everything yeah. has a procedure we, and when you will do that and we will say when and how and where to think of and which acupuncture points are emphasized and yeah, that like is now, the most important part I talking would, about I, microcosmic say. microcosmic orbit like for maybe for those who don't know but that is the, the sort of circulation the way of the energy that it goes in the body that we actually cover in this course and there is yeah, there are we, certain things because like you said people write about this there are books like i read uh, uh i mean read even myself about those like quite detailed books but it's like a little bit vague even though the detailed book is a little bit vague and it misses a lot of the stuff that i was going through with you and it's just like you can just start to circulate it, but that's really actually not the case. There needs, there's a certain time, like you said, that something comes from your body and only after this is it even possible or it makes any sense to start to do the circulation. You know, when you learn from books, yeah, there's nobody you know, can tell you, no, this is not correct or that is right. If all written in mm -hmm. books is... is uh, is the truth then we will should worship every book okay <laughs> but it's not okay and uh through experience i only can say uh, uh what we are showing or what i also present there in this tutorial is from my own experience okay mm -hmm. and it it had uh, dramatically changed in my life okay and Everybody can do that. It's a tool uh, to to have a better better feeling, actually, in life and a t totally different point of view. Okay, how how you see your surroundings and how you reflect to your surroundings. It, mm. it is the most important part that the will of of changing yourself uh, should be should be there and can be fulfilled. Okay. That's it. What it's, I really like about it is because if you were repeating from the books, it wouldn't be the same thing. Like, and you say, like, it's your point of view and it's your experience together with the knowledge that you inherited from the masters. And I think this is what makes it incredible because even in the course, you talk about your experience and it sounds real. It sounds like you really went through that. This is something that I didn't encounter anywhere else when you describe <clears throat> you describe the feelings. Of the of the circulation, you, you describe the energy flow and and all the stuff that came out. It sounds like this is really something that you practiced for such a long time and spent time on it, experimenting it. And I think that's the real value of this whole thing. Like bring someone who actually did it, who like uh, uh, walk to walk, like like they say. 
it is how I feel about it. <clears throat> yeah. That is, I would say, that is my own experience. If somebody mm -hmm. is, everybody is unique, okay? Everybody is different, yeah? But the tools what we have uh, are transmitted from generation to generation. And we follow the principles how the masters before yeah, transmitted these kind of, I will say, treasures. No? Because mm -hmm. I'd already told you, actually, even you have gold, you can't, no, you can't do that. Okay. Gold? It is much more value. Gold. The gold, you, ah, if you want to, yeah. if you measure the gold with what you, what, you, what kind of knowledge you can get, okay. Mm. And I would say, uh, it was actually everything. If you learn something from someone, you know, and it has, um, when it has value, value, yeah, uh, or it have value, then you should, you should really respect it because there is something nobody can take away anymore from you, okay. <laughs> It's use your long life. And if you have, you know that if you have money, you will have money for a certain period and then it will also, you know, yeah, you know. And this kind of knowledge, you can even, I would say, what my thinking also is, this kind of uh, knowledge and ability you can carry on in your afterlife. Okay. <laughs> even afterlife. <laughs> Because, you know, the material things you can't take away. Okay. Yeah, and you can but, even carry it onwards to other people, because this is how I also see it. Like you, you sort of, the people who learn this become part of this lineage by themselves. They can teach it to baby. They have pupils, like, like uh, students, and it will live on. Or you can teach it even to your children or some family, because it's such a valuable way for anybody uh, for i think for anyone like you said even anyone can learn it it's like for male for female it doesn't matter old or young it's just like it can really live on in that sense yeah, it's such it, a precious knowledge of course you know but it should go to the correct hands yeah <laughs> that's true yeah Correct. and and i will say and i also think now that Everyone, everyone there, you know, who is really interested in changing himself, they can have access to that the kind of toolbox, I would say. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that is actually uh, through the tutorials. Yeah. Okay. Especially people now, they, they are they're at home. They can at home study and learn and do change, change themselves at home during the, uh, lockdowns okay and that is also a way how to to recover yourself from different kind of sickness and that is also how how to appreciate the breathing methods from all the breathing masters okay what we have mm -hmm. now because now you can see around the world the 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 way the way uh let's do the breathing you know qigong how to breathe and how to do the different mm -hmm. methods okay it become more and more yeah it is. and and actually actually uh uh i think we are also inside these kind of people you know <laughs> you know we because uh our level in the breathing method and also how we approach that is also a little bit different than other people uh, provide, okay? Because the method and also the way uh, for a lot of a lot of people, they they even do them doing the breathing technique like qigong and uh, meditations and pranayama, okay? Uh, they never heard about these kind of methods when we talk about. Okay. Yeah. One thing so, that's actually really interesting about that, like you said, the pranayama and the yogi stuff, because it's like, I feel like this, because uh, they kind of like you said, like the, the parallel, you know, the yogi is speaking different terms about what we're actually doing in Qigong about the circulation. They have the different words for these names. But when you actually learn the sort of big secret and the orbital circle, 
and the, the Chaozhou Tian of the Qi. Chaozhou Tian. Yeah. You actually learn also the big thing of yoga as well, because yoga also was original at the, the circulation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, okay. The thing is that the the Asian, you know, and the the Asian and the their cultures are totally different. The in the Indian yogi or guru, they will put these knowledge into a flower, you know, when they mm. speak, when they teach, you know, when when they how to want to transmit that to their to their students, you know, and uh, the the Asian is much more direct. He will say, "This is the acupuncture point. You do, should do that, and then you should do this." You know, and mm. they have a system, and there is not too much flowery way and a lot of beautiful colors. You know, like the in, like in the Indian way. You know, okay, uh, where everything is totally different. It's because of uh, a culture, yeah, different culture, mm. how to prescribe energies and also uh, points. You know, and. Uh, yeah, look. For example, the uh, the the yogic, they they always say these acupuncture lotuses. I would say lotuses, or in Chinese, acupuncture points. Okay, you say <laughs> you have points, and you have yeah, and you have here the the lotus or the chakras, you know, and in different colors with different uh, different bloom leaves. Okay, mm. and. Uh, and that is that is a totally different thing in, in in Chinese, okay. And especially if you want to if you want to see the martial artist, you know, in old times, they become much more correctly and directly to the point. That's why they say you yeah. you think of that point, you know, and then you circulate that, and you just think of that point and that point and that point, okay. But directly, they tell you what is going on, and you should do preparations to open your energy channels in that method and that yeah. method and that method exactly like so they, they have a clear preparation they have a clear sequence for the thing and everything you know even the clear like a points and all, all that is like uh, sort of explained it's open up in a way but it doesn't make it easy like that that's uh, what i still like i have to say even though it's more maybe directly explained it's still ex extremely like somewhat like mystical i think because it, it's yeah. very hard to get a, any idea of it unless you like practice it yourself. Yeah. The other thing is, it is also very hard to get information to these, mm. you know, any access to that. Because something only the the guru with the chela with his adept, you know, with his student, they only okay. I whisper it into your ear. So <laughs> even if there's someone afraid somebody even can hear that how it works and these kind of phrases and poems are also transmitted from generation to generation okay so actually when you understand the uh, different kind of chinese kung fu principles you can use them in the art because uh what the old masters have done is chuan dao bu chuan yi Chuan Dao, Bu Chuan Yi. Chuan means uh, transmit, okay? Chuan. Mm. Dao means Dao. You know what is Dao? Dao is the way. The way. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And Bu Chuan Yi means don't, not this skill. Not the skill. Transmit this, don't transmit this skill. This is what oh. the old masters have done. That's why you only have these kind of books. Where Chuan Dao is inside, the principles, like the the principles of <laughs> their martial art, the core, and the movement, they can't transmit because it's the past generation. Exactly, okay. and you can't even copy the movement. Really, you can't imitate it, and because it starts from the very core, that's what brings forth the correct movement as well. Right. So look, and and when we see the Taoistic uh, writings, you know, for example, the I Ching or something, that is the same. They teach you different kind of uh, uh, trigrams, you know. Okay, and the the constitution, the sixty four different kind of patterns and the meanings, you know, uh, this is only written. There is nothing about some skill where you can. Mm -hmm where you can develop your Tai Chi Kung Fu or where you can develop your Bagua Kung Fu. Yeah? <laughs> uh, it's not like that. OK, 
okay, or your sword fighting, they only tell you how the way is. The movement, the movement and uh, the experience only relies on yourself. Okay, and that's why uh, we have so many different kinds of masters with different kinds of skills, but they come from the same school. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> and somebody, somebody do this, the other one do that, you know, like I do uppercut this, and no, the other guy say I do the uppercut that, okay. And the other say, oh, no, I do the uppercut like that, okay. Now, for, only for example, you know, and then tick, tack, 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 okay, and now it becomes the hook. Okay, mm. yeah, and it, it is only about us how how we understand the principles and what we put into the movement is our work. <laughs> There's always okay. the interpretation, actual. Yeah, and and that's why I say uh, by also by also after my experience and learning different kind of kung fu method, the Ichen. The Shiniba, the Lyoho Shiniba, the Shinyi, Lyoho Chen, and all these kind of things, you know. Uh, the Monkey Kung Fu, the Uzu Chen, the Crane, you know, the Lohan Chen, the Damo Lohan Chen, all these kind of Kung Fu, what I learned. I don't want to mention it about the, I would say, the Judo, the Karate, the Taekwondo, you know, this MMA. I don't want to mention about this, uh, you know. All of these kind of things are in my body. And the result is the Trinity system, where you can see movements from the Shini Kung Fu, where you can see movements from the monkey style, where you can see movements from different kind of style because my body moves out of instinct. Mostly monkey Kung Fu based. Okay. The principles, the principles are from the three, I would say, mostly two precious styles that is the Xing Yi Kung Fu and also the Tai Chi and at last the Chen Jing the Bible of the martial art so with these kind of fundament the fundamental concept and principles this is how I built with you the tutorial and the next will have not only the standing method from the Trinity system, Kun Yuan Yi Chi. We also have the 64 breathing method where you stand firm and you do different kind of breathing positions, I would say, positions. Mm. No? And uh, you, can, you can practice these kind of breathing techniques uh, for hundreds of days. This okay? is very so rare, hundred. Yeah, that is the monkey qigong, which combines the xin yi qigong, yeah, the xin yi qigong, and also the monkey qigong from the hua to, hua to yeah. Uh, you know who, who was hua to? Hua to was a doctor, uh, okay. A doctor hua to in old Chinese tradition and culture who actually made a, a ask, ask for another very famous Cao Cao. Yeah, Cao Cao, uh, I will say also emperor and leader to make a trepanation, opening the head. Mm. Okay. And this kind of emperor was afraid actually that Hua to, the doctor, want to kill the emperor, you know? And that's why Hua to need to, cleaned away okay and he, some of did you, did you say that this yeah. chikong came from this doctor part of it yeah there are there there are the principles of the five animal uh, qigong method from hua to okay so we have not only the we have not only the crane the tiger yeah the monkey the deer and the bear these are the five okay and a different kind of method. They're very common in, in mainland China and around the world to uh, five animal frolics, I, I think they call them like that. Okay? Okay. And that, that principle and also different kind of the move from the five, there's one monkey, 
we have it into our tutorial inside. Okay. Now this the technique called Bai Yuan Tuna. Okay. The white ape breathes. Uh, the breathing technique of the white ape. This is the Bai Yuan. Okay. And the others are uh, we call it Dan Tian Gong. Okay. Yang Dan Tian and Dan Tian Gong. Okay. So, but you need to do that 64 times the breathing. That's the circle. You should then make a rest and you train that morning and evening time, 100 days, you will feel the result. It is not a hard Qigong, it is a soft one. Okay. No, no. And uh, it is actually actually also deep, deep meaning and uh, I would say knowledge information insight. Okay. Yeah. I feel like that hundred day uh, cycle because it's not just how do I say like when we're talking about like a lot of like physical development, you know, you're develop the energy and the body, but we also talk about like consciousness and like the mind and developing like this sort of like really uh, 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 like uh, I don't even know really how to say it like opening up the consciousness or elevating maybe perhaps like elevating the consciousness and it goes back to where you started like about the, the heart and the mind the she and the e and really like learning to this shin 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 and e and chi the the coordination from chi and e is yes. i chi now listen i chi cui li i yi dao chi wu yi wu chi this is the principle this is the coordination of chi and e and for example i chi cui li is chi has strength yi yi dao chi guiding chi with intent and Wu yi, wu qi means no intent, no qi. So important is that in the last one is very important. No intent, no qi. That means 100 days. You do this kind of method and you change a little bit during the 100 days your behavior, what you're yeah. doing, what, how you treat others in your surrounding. And after 100 days, you have the chance to eliminate a lot of different behaviors, okay? Because, and also you will, you will create a kind of habit in these 100 days, okay? When you do 100 days good things, you continuously, auto automatically. Mm. That, look, Guiding the chi with intent, okay? So actually, if you are focusing only on your chi, you will have a clean chi because the first thing what you're doing is you do you become calm when you do the chi gong, okay? This is what we call anjing, okay? And in this word, anjing, there is another word hidden, and this means jing, like Anjing. Anjing means calmness. Calm. Mm -hmm. And when I when I take out the hidden word also, what is inside, and I say Ganjing, this Jing means clean. Okay. So what calm you work clean. actually calm and clean at the same time. First you become calm. Okay, you you, you can collect yourself, you collect your, your internal state of mind, and also you, at the same time, you will clean yourself, like water, you know, when water doesn't yes. move, yeah. then all the dirt goes down and the water can, can become clean. It's like a serene okay. sort of state. Yes, and that is the same, okay? So when we become calm, we clean ourselves at the same time. And this breathing method, when you do that 60, uh, the 64 breathing technique, then uh, then you, you should exercise these techniques for 100 days. You can see what will happen. Okay. Exactly. And 
and like you, you talked about the focus because for me uh there, you know there are different like it, it's a form of kind of medi- meditative pattern because we are talking about internal practices and the reason why it's for example internal is because you're very directly utilizing actually even contracting muscles that are inside the body i can't go any more deeper into that but during this circle you're constantly like paying attention sort of into your body it's so deeply into the body and contracting the muscles in inside your body in certain sequences while you're doing this form at the same time which actually contains the sort of always the the yin yang even inside the form itself and i think this was just like so genius uh, about the 64 uh, 64 breathing method it's such a deep meditative focus in the body and you do that for 100 days uh, together with uh, changing the, the diet that we also give some instructions there and and the other stuff that is part of it it's like you can you cannot be with uh, you cannot remain the same like during this sort of or after this period yeah The importance is actually that it is not only for athletes, you know, you say Mm. contracting and if somebody here is contracting and I need to, I don't want, I have no much power because maybe I just come out of the hospital or I already am very weak, you know, Mm. the, the monkey Qigong actually is very soft okay yeah. the the only part what somebody need to learn is the squatting monkey at the first yeah. that is very important because even when you learn the first beginning the squatting monkey the tun you will feel that your lower body trunk will be developed and there you have the contract contraction but after a while the feeling of contracting hardly because you stand in that frame will disappear and you can become much more soft in your internal state that is the one the the standing method the standing method is where you need to learn and to uh, and to mobilize different body parts, for example. You really need to learn to to use your mind to conduct conduct which part of your body need to think of or need to contract in. Okay, that is actually the most important part. This is actually a statement from me and it is about my own point of view. So you can see this is my okay, this is my personal writings, yeah. Okay, and here we have the I know already people they're practicing standing practices from the Yi Chuan, from the Tai Chi, from the Xin Yi, yeah? but we can still can dig deeper and develop much more muscle groups and also we will develop much more faces in our muscle system. then it is open. It takes time, don't be rushed. It can even take decades to open that. So relax. So they move controversy to each other. Our clothes, the skin, the bones and all these kind of things They are actually nothing. 
The spirit and the soul is something that will live forever and can be transformed in I don't know what.